Well, real good win for us today, especially uh, you know playing three games in five days, um, not having our full complement of players. Um, you know, we, we were, some players were under the weather a little bit, and then we had some uh, some injuries. So uh, we knew this game was going to be a grind. Uh, Hofstra is a super athletic team uh, that poses a lot of problems. Jalen Hines is a you know all league player, and, and Knight is a, you know transfer from Pittsburgh. That's a real electric guard. So we, we knew we were going to have our, our hands full today. But uh, real proud of our effort. I thought Hofstra start the game off, and they had a little bit more energy than us. It seemed like we were a step late on a lot of things, and we were fortunate to only be down one going into the half. So we challenged our team at halftime you know, to give better effort uh, on the defensive side. I think we gave up 19 points in the second half, which was key. Um, but just like to highlight a, you know, a, a few performances, obviously uh, Sid did a great job getting to 25, 10 for 10 from the foul line. Um, Kate Ceramic, you know, is turning into Moses Malone. She had 11 rebounds uh, um, here today. And, and just a real, you know, Rebecca Frisbee-Smith, I thought, uh, um, played really well today with, uh, with Riley Casey in foul trouble and came in, hit a big three, three rebounds, and played real solid defense. So overall, really great team win. Ruthie, Ruthie, yeah, she just wasn't ready to go today. And we had a feeling, you know, three games in five days, uh, you know, she really helped us. You know, she played, I think it was 15 minutes on Wednesday, close to 20, and, uh, and then taking that hard spill. Um, so we, she should be hopefully good to go for the weekend. Yeah, that's what I was a little nervous about. And, and Rebecca, you know, Rebecca Frisbee-Smith came in to, to play the wing, and we've been playing her at the four spot a little bit. So really unfair to her where we've been training her and coaching her all year as a, as a four, and then we had her come in and play the three. She's done it before, um, but her defense was really on point. She, she, we had her guarding the night kid, and I thought she did a real good job there. Hit that big three. Um, you know, but then got three rebounds in the time that she was in, which was which was critical, which which was huge for her. So that's what I was saying. When a good team win, when you have players stepping in and stepping up, and Caleb Beckwith obviously put together another good performance for us. Well, why not Caleb not single duty offensively or starting but uh, defensively? Um, you guys really seem to to shut down Yeah, I thought so. We were really disappointed. Uh, you know, we tried every defense in the first half. We threw everything at them, and it just seemed like they were getting easy looks. And uh, um, it's tough to score when you're taking the ball out of your own basket, even though they only got 29 points. Um, Hofstra is not a you know an offensive uh, um, you know minded team. They only average 50 points a game. Although they're you know they're super super at they're, they're built on defense as well. Um, so I was a little worried about how easy they were getting in the paint. Uh, Knight had hit a couple threes. Um, but we did challenge them at halftime to give a – we thought we needed better effort on some of the things that we were doing. And, and, and the team responded by only giving up 19 in the second half. Did, uh, uh, of course, Malone come in and play in the second half and have a lot of minutes. But you guys are so good on glass. Um, is that – are you good for that third wave? Do you feel good about that? I do. And, and that, you know, that's something we've talked about before, that the team is out shooting us from the free throw line in terms of getting there. Mm -hmm. And we are a real solid free throw shooting team, so getting there is important. And you know, obviously, a little bit towards the end was them uh, with desperation a little bit. But I did thought we dro drove the ball a little bit harder today and and got to the foul line. And I thought we could have got to the foul line a little bit more if uh, you know on, on some calls, but they didn't go our go our way. But yeah, I was happy with the way we were going to the basket. Yeah, geez, we, we're just, um, you know, every game is in the CAA is a battle. I knew that coming into um, tonight, this was going to be a grind with us. Uh, you know, even if we were fresh, Hofstra, you know, every, every team from top to bottom um, really poses different challenges. And Drexel, again, you know, um, will pose us a different challenge on, on Friday night. We played them really tough here. Obviously, the result wasn't what we wanted in double overtime. Um, but, uh, you know, obviously going on the road, everything changes. But this team, like I said, I, and I keep saying this team has responded, has never hung its head, has been resilient, and we're going to need all those things heading up this weekend in Drexel.